Good morning my lovely ones. Welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. It's Trashcraft Tuesday day, which I'm really excited by uh, what I'm going to do today. It's a late night brain active thought idea um, from last night. So it's very fresh in my mind. Um, I've had a little play around just to kind of, you know, see if my late night middle of the night actually idea was going to work and I think it is so the trash we are using you might have guessed is a used envelope and that's where the trash starts and stops the rest of what I'm using is not trash I am going to be using digitals from the junk journal studio absolutely super excited to play with them um, so yeah the trash is an envelope now depends what your envelope is like I'm using one where the flap is still intact hasn't been torn um, so if you're using one that's open on the end or open at the top or something you'll just need to kind of adapt the idea to suit um, I've had a little thought along those lines because one of the envelopes I grabbed out was open at one end so I'll try and remember to kind of go over a few options um, if I remember no promises <laughs> right so starting with an envelope we are going to make a multi-pocket flip out thingamajig yeah really descriptive isn't it so I'm going to start by folding my envelope so that it comes over top just over the end of the window so I'm just going to fold it there whoops okay there is a few little steps um, so hopefully it's not super complicated right so I'm going to open this flap out if you don't have a flap then you won't need to worry about it and I'm going to cut it just on the shorter side of the fold line Add a little bit of an angle that was a curve rather than an angle so let's do an angle just as just a wee sliver where'd it go oh it's stuck my scissors because this has still got a little bit of stick to it with the um the envelope seal glue so i'm going to take my glue and i'm going to put some glue all over that flap this is the short side and I'm going to tuck it inside like so press it down whoops I've got a bit of glue seepage there get rid of that because we don't want to glue things shut that we don't want to be glued shut and then I'm going to come in and just on this rest of this flap take another little sliver on the other side of the fold line like so okay and then this one I am going to just glue, put glue around the side and the top of the flap and glue that one on the outside. So hopefully you're able to follow along with the, how I'm doing this. Oops, that's a bit, a bit wrinkly. Let's see if we can flatten that out a bit. it nicely stuck down okay so fold your envelope till this side comes just over the window then we cut down a little sliver out of the middle along the fold line and then the short side we're gluing the flap inside so it's open here and then this side we are gluing down so there's no opening okay clear as mud so far just going to take a wee sip of my coffee. Give you a moment to kind of wrap your head around that. This is why I had a little play before I did the video because I thought I'd be in trouble if I tried to work this out totally on camera. Okay, so the next step is if yours is already open at this end, then you don't need to do this. But mine's not open, so I'm going to whip that just a, a little bit, not super much just to open it so I'm just taking off enough to open up that envelope there 
on the end. So we're going to have a pocket here. We're going to have flip out here with a top loading pocket here. And I just want to also glue down that little flappy bit there. Just glue that in place and make sure I don't glue it closed. So as you go, if you've got any flappy loose bits that potentially could get in the way, then trim those off. Okay, so top loading pocket here, side loading pocket here, writing space here is what this is going to be on that flippy side. You could also make this writing space, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to do writing or purely decoration. Then this will be decorated. Um, I've got an idea for it inside here, so when you remove your journal card or tag or whatever, that there's still something in the window. And then you can also put it down on the page. I'll just grab out a page. So this is going to be, this is the fold here. So that's a signature page. I envisage it going on that side of the page. And you could glue it on. So you need room needs to be over towards the fold so you've got room to put your journal card or whatever in this pocket you could also make it a top loading pocket at the back here or you could center it and do i have something long enough um, here's a little something that i haven't finished um, or you could center it and make a belly band with a little flip out okay so that's how we're going to use it now we're going to get into the the fun bit the decorating the collaging the turning it into something wonderful i hope another wee sip of my coffee while it's hot because i'll probably forget once i get into this so for the collage and the decoration I am going to be using the collage and cluster mega pack from the junk journal studio this is the base kit the um, green and neutrals I also have some of the yellow add-on kit um, which I may dip into um, but I specifically printed off the green one for today and I think this is going to be absolutely the perfect thing to collage this up with because that's what it's for it's a collage and cluster mega pack so here i want some writing kind of something or other and there's one here with some oops let's get it around the right way is that wide enough it's not quite wide enough but that's okay let's start at the beginning and take some of the white off for now So I hope you're having a great week so far. I hope it's off to a good start for you. Monday morning here and it's quite a little bit warmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's kind of raining off and on, just gentle rain every now and then. Um, but it's just significantly warmer today. I am going to trim this with my scissors because... I don't want to be spending five minutes trying to tear off the little bits set because I didn't hold my paper down properly. So let's just take the shorter, quicker route at the end of the day. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying these milder temperatures. You know, the fire's going still, you know, still need the fire. But it's just really lovely and cosy. Two of the cats are curled up in front of the fire one of them keeps moving around because he gets hot puss gets a bit hot so he goes to the other side of the room cools off and then he goes back in front of the fire but snuggles is currently stretched out right in front of the fire super cute and kelly came in for breakfast about nine o'clock this morning and then had some cuddles and then popped off my lap and went and had some biscuits and then she went out so just the two cats inside I wish she would have stayed around a bit longer but it's important that she has her freedom and can feel free to come and go because that's more likely to encourage her to spend time at home if she knows she can freely 
come and go. Okay, so I think I'm just going to use part of this next pattern and go right up to the edge of the think about there edge of the window is what I was saying if I finish my sentence yep that's looking like I got it right in the right spot Now, think about, do I want to wrap around? No, I don't, because that, yep, no, I don't, because that would interfere with our pocket and our fold. So it's just going to be on this side. Could have perhaps wrapped it around at the bottom instead. Oh, actually, now that I'm thinking of that, do I want to do that? Let's see what it would look like. So if that's there... How far up would it come? That text would be upside down, but that's not the end of the world. Okay. Let's just wrap it around then. I think that will be fine. Right. I don't mind if the text is upside down. It's just a few numbers and it's still writable. So I am just going to use my tacky glue for this. Just, even though I did a kind of a little test run on where I needed to fold and cut and stuff I that was as far as I did a test run so there's still lots of stuff to kind of figure out as we go along so if I make any opses you have an opportunity to learn from my opses okay now we can crease that it needs to go Zoomy zoom round with the glue. So I've got quite a busy week this week. There's, I have to go out th at least three times that I know of. One of those, which is Friday, is all day. It's shopping day. And this week I think I might be doing shopping for the food bank as well. So that's like two trips around the supermarket because they have to be separate, of course. Um... So I was asked last week if I could do the shopping. Um, I'm not sure if it starts this week or not, so I'll have to contact her and see if she wants me to do it on Friday. But it's possible. Um, Thursday I'll be out food bank related for probably a good portion of the afternoon. And then tomorrow I've got to go out, which should only be around an hour that I'm out. But like, it's, it's busy. Like, when did I get so busy? Well, yeah, actually I've always been busy. It's just different things that occupy, occupy my time, I guess. I'm tending more towards the greens for this project rather than the neutrals. Although this has green in it as well. So maybe we'll use a little bit of that. Oops, making lots of racket here. I haven't had a, a proper chance to play with this kit. I've played a little bit with the yellow add-on. But I'm really excited to get into this this main base kit and give it a, a workout. And it just so happens that the colours are perfect for a project I'm doing over on Patreon. I've got a couple of journal commissions to do and I'm doing them fairly start to finish ish over on patreon and so you know there'll be the odd bit like this um that will go in those journals but which is on public youtube because i need to get cracking to do two full journals for the commissions and they're fairly similar in style and theme um so yeah and I still need content for public YouTube. So there, there'll be a, the odd thing where I do do something for the journals. Right, now have a think about this. This goes right over. So we could wrap this around that way. Let's do that. Um, go to about there, I think. not quite 
quite folded in the right place, but that's okay. Yeah, so I'm preparing myself for a busy week and I've also got some computer work to do which is essential to get done either tomorrow, today or tomorrow. Um, so I'm, with the milder temperatures, I'm looking forward to spending most of this afternoon in the office getting as much done as I can. Well, they say make hay while the sun shines. Well, the sun isn't shining but the, it is warmer slightly. So, good time to be in the office doing computer work. I did a bit last night, but then my computer decided to start doing something in the background, like, I don't know, virus check or update or something, and it began running like a dog with one leg. It just was a nightmare, so I just turned the heater off, turned the light off, and left it to its devices. Because working like that when it's having a, a nightmare is just not fun. And it's very um, unproductive time. Right. I'm enjoying all these different bits that coordinate. And I can just take bits and I know they're all going to work together. It's super fun. Thinking a strip down here we can put something else in the gap and I'm really liking this I'm going for the middle ones aren't I I don't know why but it's just what's appealing to me whatever I'm going for the pattern not necessarily where it is on the piece of paper and I'm going to have lots of beautiful scraps once I've finished this project so I can make a second one probably off camera for the second journal I've got to do on Patreon. This pattern could go either way. It's, it's a vertical pattern, but you could get away with it sideways. It would work fine. Okay, so do I want to wrap this around? Now, actually, I didn't need to wrap that because that... Is going to be glued down. So note to self, if I do wrap, I just need to do the top bit to give it a nice edge. So I don't need to like take it down so far because it's going to be glued for goodness sake. Don't waste all that pretty paper. So I'm just going to wrap a little bit at the top just to give it that nice edge and so it's not like pretty and then white. Might as well just take a little bit there and oops we need to go to the edge of the window envelope so yeah we'll find another little strip of something to put there it's not a very wide piece I'm needing here mm. having trouble seeing Seeing where it needs to be torn. Let's do it this way. That's easier. So I'm not losing my placement while I peek. I think we're good there. Oh, that doesn't look straight. But it's okay. It will work. It's been a while since I've done a win window envelope project. And I've been thinking about it the last few weeks. Thinking, oh, I want to do a, an envelope project. Didn't have any real ideas of what I was going to do. But that old not sleeping in the middle of the night brain, it did actually some not too bad ideas at times and other times it's just annoying that my brain refuses to go back to sleep all right just trim off where i got that not straight isn't collaging fun i'm having so much fun 
Right. Next. Do we want to... No, I don't want to think I want that. Do I want a bit of this grid there? Yep, I think I want some of the grid. Super fun. I do enjoy collage. You probably know this about me. I love it in all its forms. It's more artistic forms. It's challenge form and it's decorating ephemera or whatever masterboard form. It's just so much fun. I am keeping these white strips, these thicker white strips. Um, they come in quite useful. So do I want the numbers? I kind of like the numbers. They just add a little something different, don't they? So we'll take a little bit of the grid and the numbers. There. Oh, I should have taken a bit longer because I haven't left enough to wrap around. Oh well, we'll just take a different section. Let's just take another bit. No harm, no foul. I'm not upset about making more scraps. Right, don't put your ruler away yet there. You still need to trim it down a bit. Let's just take it down that black line there, the thicker black line. Seems to be as good a place as any. Isn't that a fun square? I wonder what I could use that for without cutting it down more. Whoops, glue bubble. Go away, glue bubble. Here we go. Let's pop it. So what else do I have on this week? That's pretty much it. The summation of my week is a few outings, um, two of which are for the food bank and groceries and then the digital work that I need to get done for the newsletter and for my Patreon. Right, now something down here. Maybe this brown one down here. Yep, let's do it. So, it's, to me, when I say it out loud, that doesn't sound like that heavy a schedule. But that's not saying everything I've got to do. Like, I've still got to do all my videos um, and all the editing. And all that jazz so you know that's only just the extras the ones that I said are the extras that are added into my week which aren't or didn't used to be normal um, some of those well the grocery shopping's normal like once every two weeks I go grocery shopping you know because it has to be done doesn't it and I'm really enjoying doing it and again since I had so many years of not being able to with my mobility was really terrible um, so now that that's fixed I'm really enjoying doing the groceries and managing the, the food levels and having available what I need available when I need it as opposed to my darling husband's approach to what he would buy in the groceries and when it's like no we don't need that we've still got one of it and we only do our groceries once fortnight well if you use that in the first day or two of doing the groceries well then you've got another two weeks without that ingredient <laughs> so yeah slight difference on approach i think and i'm wondering whether that's a male female thing or not don't know. Okay, I think that's looking lovely. So we have writing space. I will refold this. Um, so we still need to do this. Maybe I'll do that. Um, 
so this fold line here so we just need to go up to that we don't need to go over it because again this is glued down or you know pocket belly band whatever or a tuck spot this is the side that will be seen um do i want a bit more of not the square squares for something else that's not long enough maybe no that's not long enough turn this one is turn that i probably will overlap it on this point though just to give again that nice edge and there's a little bit of glue from that self-sealing envelope so that will just cover that over so i need to kind of turn it over so i can see where the edge is um We will have white along there, but I will distress it, so no biggie, I don't think. Just not going to worry about wrapping around that edge, because I didn't do it to start with. Now there's a tiny wee scrap. That will probably go in my collage phone book. And I don't want it that deep. So about there should be good. And then we've just have got a little bit to cover. I hope I get this project all done in, in the video without taking too long. I feel like it's going well, but I'm also feel like time's passing quite quickly. It's trouble when you're having fun, you kind of lose track because you're just kind of in the zone of, of doing. Okay, that's there and now we need a little snippet up in this corner which has just got an, a little bit of an unusual shape so we will kind of work that one out as we go along just going to take a wee strip there I think I want to go down a bit further just so it's not all meeting and things now to get this right I'm going to slide it in side like so get it right where I need it then go take a pencil and I'm using pencil uh, so you can rub it out if a bit shows and then I'm going to trace around that bit that I want to copy the shape of come in here and trim it on the line pretty much you can really not see the pencil I think because it's brown so it doesn't really show and then just check it make sure it works and it works perfectly actually I can see a little bit of the brown there so I will just rub it out I may as well I have the option so I might as well just do it because it's easier before I glue it on oh I do hope I'm in frame I just had a sudden oh no am I off frame am I in frame please excuse me if I do slip it out of frame at times I'm trying my best not to but it does happen okay Let's make sure it lines up where I want it there we go okay now I would also like to do something inside here because it's it's got use once only within New Zealand don't really need that on my beautiful piece of ephemera um, so we need another bit of paper looking what I might like do we want to go with more yellow is that wide enough no it's not wide enough so we need something that's a little wider that can go sideways oh this is pretty but too close to that I think I want I want it to look like it's an opening if you use something too close to that color or pattern it's going to be hard to see that it's a pocket oh what about this 
for yeah no this I think because we can put this sideways and it's not going to uh, look like it's sideways if you know what I mean whereas if I put this sideways then the text is going to be sideways or the mushrooms are going to be sideways so that's wide enough there so I'm going to take it under that postcard so I'm not destroying the postcard doesn't matter I could always reprint but you know not going to damage it if I don't need to because I could just fussy cut that out and use it as is I am really excited about the um, Cubby's work do coming up on the 20th of July it's a mask event and you don't have to go in full costume it's just about the mask but hubby and I are going in full costume and we've both now, apart from my nails, I just last night I ordered um, nail wraps to go with my outfit. So they will they will be here in time for it. Um, so I need to go this way. So yeah, we both now have our full costumes, which is so exciting. I'm really excited. It's I haven't gone full costume for ages. And last time that we did a costume thing for his work, we both just used what we already had. So it wasn't like really costume -y. It was just kind of a dress up in terms of dress nicely and a bit more extravagantly. But it wasn't like really costume like. It was a um, Hollywood 50s type of thing. So we just used clothes we had and um and that was it whereas this time we've gone full hog and we only know of one other person that's going in costume most of them haven't even organized a mask yet it's like goodness every time i go in there which is usually once a week i give them a stick it's like have you got your mask yet oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> they're just most of them are like they'll go out to the shop the day before and just grab whatever they can it's like oh pathetic pathetic guys pathetic so i'm not going to tell too much at this point about what we're going as i may have already said it in a previous video right i'm just checking that i don't need to trim it down and i don't do i want to wrap it over Wouldn't hurt if I wrapped it over by a smidge. Let's just do that. I'll pre-crease it just so it's a little easier. Um, like get yourself sorted. Um, anyway, I'm I'm not going to go into detail on what we're dressed at at this point in time because one of his workmates does occasionally watch one of my videos, and what she watches is random, like. You know, just depending whether she's got the time or in the mood or the subject appeals. Um, but I do know she watches every now and then. So I don't want to give the game away, shall we say. But there will be photos from the event. It's, you know, still a wee way away. Um, so I will try and share some photos afterwards. So, I just want to share. I'm so excited. Now that's not an opening, is it? No, it's not an opening. Just double checking before I make a boo boo. Right, so we've still got this writing space here. Maybe I should have taken it across because we've got a little bit of white showing. Um, no is it showing no it shouldn't show need to fold it so i'm not losing track of where things are at so I'm just trying to find where my fold line is i think it's there yep it's looking pretty good i'm just going to give it a 
crease. So we have our pocket here. And that, I'll just put the lid on my glue, grab my ink. And I've got a little white edge showing there, which is fine. Ink to the rescue. And let's come in here and ink this edge as well. Top of the pocket. And I'll get that little gap there, that little white gap, in case a little bit of it does show. And then along top here. Right. Okay, so the inside. Now, if your envelope is open on the end, say it's open on this end, just pause a moment from the inking. Um, I did have an envelope like that. Where have I put it? Where, where, oh where have I put it? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this one, so it would fold here. Fold it over the window. So it is closed at the top. It still has its flap on, but it's been opened at this end here. So you would still have your, take this end off and use that as a side pocket and then use this as a side pocket here instead of the top and then have it flip out as normal as a prototype. Or, actually I'll put that aside, sorry, it's probably glaring in your face. Just move that. Um, or you could close this up, you know, collage around so it closes it up and then just open it. Um, yeah, open it at the top like we did with the other one. Um, did we open this one? It was open on the back, that's right. Um, so that's that's how I would deal with that one. So you've got a couple of options whether you have it as two side loading pockets or you have the side loading pocket and then open this up at the top here or you could have this as a side pocket and then just make this a top loading pocket so you would have uh, two pockets instead of three. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Just trying to give you options depending on what state your envelope's in. Okay, so writing space, decorative. With writing space, we could add a little something decorative here, and I think I probably will. Right, so we've got our pocket here. I'm not worried about the blue. Um, let's continue anking. Although, do we want to put something in that end there to disguise it? A little bit. I'll probably do a thumb notch, but I kind of want to decide first what I'm going to do because if I do a thumb notch in the front, then the blue will show and it might be a bit jarring, maybe. So I'll have a little think about that. Because it's definitely not the colours of this journal, is not that blue. So, in this window, I want something glued inside so that uh, whatever we put in will show, but when we remove the tag or whatever, then we've got like a surprise underneath it. I could actually use this postcard. But I do have, from the ephemera that come with the kit, uh, not that one so much, I don't think, but this one... I was thinking about this piece, or even this piece. That one I think is not quite long enough. I think I like this one because there's a lot of green around it, whereas this is just green, green and black text on a creamy, sort of distressed background. So I'll go with this one. Cut 
cut it out. Oh, Snuggles must be thirsty after soaking in all the feet, feet, <laughs> heat from the fire. Because um, she's drinking up a storm right now. You can hear her lapping at the water. Quite noisy drinkers, cats. She must have heard me talking about her or saying a name because she stopped. Yeah, it was Snuggles. I was like, was it Snuggles? Puss must have gone out. I can't see Puss. Right, so that's going to slide in there. Oh, that's just pretty much perfect sizing. How cool is that? The tricky part is going to be getting it in there. Just checking position. Yeah, I thought if I get the whole word received in there. Okay, right. This is the part I'm nervous about, guys, is getting it in there without making a complete and utter mess and stressing myself out. But I have seen other people do such things um, on camera and they get it done. So just let's bite the bullet and do it because it's not going to happen if we don't try. I'm sure it's all about how you hold your tongue. <laughs> well, right. I think if I just kind of open it up a little bit, like so. If it doesn't get perfectly lined up where I want it, it's not the end of the world. But look at that. That is perfection for where I wanted it. I've got the number up here, I've got the full received word there, I've got the signature and the date down the bottom. If I flip it up, you'll be able to perhaps see it a bit better and make sense of it. It's slightly crooked because this line I can just see peeking underneath is, um, is showing on a slant, but that's okay. I am really, really happy with that. You can also see down here the lines are a little crooked, but I'm really happy with that. That actually went in good as gold. I guess because we've got a reasonable kind of opening to work with. It's not super tight. I am very happy. Okay, do I want to put anything in this edge? I think it would be a shame not to, wouldn't it? To just have that. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Because it would be a shame to have that little bit showing. Is this? No, that bit's not long enough. That's not long enough. Um, that's not long enough. What about... Oops. Scraps stick into my sleeve. Is that long enough? That looks like it might be. So let's just take this white off and we can see a bit better. I mean, this, like that, would make a really cool uh, journal card base. You know, with the white off, of course. Oh, Snuggles is going back into your box of paper. I'm not going to do the side with the mushroom, though, because I think that would be a waste. Actually, probably, no, I do need to take the white off. I was like, do I need to take the white off? Yeah, I do, actually. Because otherwise it's going to show in our window. Potentially. Right, so I've got to be careful here. I don't put too much inside. Or we will come over our decorative piece there so just need to make sure we've covered enough for our thumb notch for when we take it out no not quite need a bit more than that i'm also using the lines on this piece to try and help me line it up and it's just a fraction too long so we need to trim it about 
there just taking it slightly shorter than the actual envelope just so I can kind of wrangle it inside um, do I want to use the glue stick the glue stick seem to work really well because you've got a little bit more time and ability to move things around if it's not quite right than you do with the tacky glue I've never used art glitter glue but I understand that there's you know quite a number of similarities they're both white glues and they both dry quite quickly right so sticking it on the bottom side of the inside envelope Oh, could have been done with being a bit shorter actually I know we managed to ease out the, the wrinkle so that when we take our thumb notch out of the top layer that we've got that decorative edge and I'm just going to go in there because I've still got a little bit of glue showing I didn't get it quite right to the edge so we're going to ink that edge as well probably don't need to do the whole length but I'm gonna because I'm just gonna now I'm gonna take a thumb notch don't want it super deep remember just want a fairly shallow one because you don't want to interfere with your window I'm eyeballing kind of where center is doesn't matter too much just taking a shallow thumb notch and you don't necessarily need to take a thumb notch out but I rather like the look and just shows that there's a, a pocket there okay how are we going on time oh well we we got the base done super happy not going to do a thumb notch here because we've already got a lower front than the back so not necessary um so we have a flip out with writing space how about we decorate this up um do, do, do. just looking these are the fussy cuts some of some of the fussy cuts from the yellow add-on kit because I haven't actually cut any of them out yet from the main base kit so I'm sure we'll find something in here that will work beautifully so don't want to cover over everything I still want this to be writable um, I'm thinking up in this corner where the papers kind of overlap. That. Or a little pop of yellow. I don't like the stem on that coming down in mid-air though. That's perhaps a bit big. There's a smaller one. Oh, that's pretty do like that do we want to wee label as well I don't want to cover over all the oh well the numbers are upside down so I guess it's a good time to cover them up maybe a wee stamp over there oh gorgeous love it okay Just gonna go about there I think I'm not going to ink around this one because it's got that lovely dark green border don't think it needs ink but I will ink around the butterfly and the stamp. Can't remember exactly where it was. Oh, oops, there were two together and that one's upside down. So quick, let's flip it around. Yeah, otherwise we'd have upside down text on top of upside down text. That's a bit of nonsense really, isn't it? Okay ink around the butterfly it's nice having a little pop of yellow too with all those greens and neutrals so these kits are made to complement each other which is just fantastic gives you so many options yep the butterfly can go there really makes decorating so easy you can have confidence that it's all going to look good and you, there's still room to add other bits and pieces in you know you don't have to all come out of the kit 
can still use other bits and pieces and make something really pretty and beautiful right I just like the way that kind of brings all those different bits of paper together and then our wee stamp I don't think I'm going to put a word on this one maybe on the ephemera that goes inside it but we won't have time to do the ephemera so you know just the usual suspects of journal cards or tags or both or postcards I'm still thinking about that postcard I think oh excuse me I think that would um, look really lovely is it going to fit is it the right size it's a bit narrow for this depth of this pocket um, we could turn it into a tag maybe how long have we got we've got like eight minutes not very long but we might be able to get sort of an idea going here just to finish off Do I want to take it right to the end of the postcard? What's it going to look like? I'm just thinking, do I want to take off this background and just leave the postcard itself? Or do I want to just turn that whole thing into a tag? Sorry, ephemera, you're getting in the way a bit there. move it out the way before it gets flipped onto the floor or bent and creased and damaged again a lot of my process is just one step at a time and testing to see whether it's how you want it whether it's looking all right you know because once you take something off then you've got to build it back up to make it bigger if you want it bigger I think I want to leave some of that on. I'm just going to take a bit off. Needs backing. Can I do that quickly? Yep, we've got a bit of coffee dyed paper here. So let's just back it. Do a quick zoom zoom with the glue stick. Oh, this glue stick smells so yummy. Weird thing to say about a glue stick, isn't it? It smells yummy, but it does. Oh, something's not lining up here. Something is not straight. And it will be my tearing skills. Right. Um... I think I'm going to guillotine this because it's not square so I want to make sure it's square straight on all sides so let's just do it with the guillotine and then I know it will be all good Yep, totally wasn't straight. That's okay. Just tidying up. Right. Oops. Remind me to take that scrap of paper off the edge of my guillotine blade. That'd be great. Thank you. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And just to give you a little peep, so whatever we slide into this pocket say this for example is going to show while it's in the pocket but then when it's removed we've got the next thing underneath so super fun but this is going to go in here so 
so I'm just gonna give it a tag shape to the old flippy over corners to get the matching angles voila tag shape it's really really pretty as is but you know we like to add stuff don't we and there's no reason why not kind of don't want to cover over the postcard but is that tall enough i'm thinking maybe i need something taller What else have we got here? Could use a bird. Oh, I like the date down there. Actually, I don't think I want to cover that date. I want to use Oh, this is nice and tall too. How about that? I like that. We okay on time? Oh, a better motor. Better motor. We are running out of time, my friends. If I go over by a minute or two, please, please forgive me. Please excuse my overshooting. It has happened a little bit lately, but I've just been, you know, on a roll, working away, and then checking the time and think oh yeah we're good and then before I know it we've gone over time it's like it's that last few minutes get me I just think it's been another minute or two and it's been like 10 <laughs> okay just feel like I need something else underneath it we've got you know some scraps oh I quite like that actually and it brings that it's the same pattern Kind of just brings it down and connects. Do I want it right to the edge? Or slightly? No, there I think. Now where was it going? <laughs> yep. Going here, so I am going to end up covering part of the postcard. That's okay. We have also got a date here that's 1909, but I like this handwritten date down here too. Sometimes you've just got to cover bits up, you can't keep everything. Sometimes, sometimes you can. Yes, I've only just started on the two journal commissions over on Patreon. So I did a cover last week and the week before I did, um, what did I do? A piece of ephemera or something? I can't actually remember. I did something for the journals. So yeah, they're only just getting underway. Right. So to this, I am going to ink it front and back and I'm thinking about some sort of topper but undecided and maybe just little snippy snips on the corners like Rachel from Roxy Creations does. Just a little snippy. And that's going to live in there. So we have writing space, also decorative. We have a tag in the pocket, then it flips open. And I should have it on the page so you can kind of see. Oh, it doesn't look nice against the pink, actually. Flips open, and then we have a side pocket here, and then either a tuck, a pocket, or a belly band in behind. So there we go. There's today's envelope project for Trashcraft Tuesday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you give it a go. Let me know how you get on if you do. Super fun. Just wondering, do we want to put a little closure on that? Possible. 
might be adding a little closure on there just to keep it closed although it will stay closed within the journal so it does want to bounce up a little bit um, something to think about I may add a little something not sure okay guys thanks so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll catch you again tomorrow I'll see you then bye for now